Polymorphism is used when you have things that have some similarities and some differences. Consider a catalog of products, where each product contains name, brand, SKU, and model, but some products of a certain type might contain size and color, and others might not. For example, a game console and a pair of earbuds might have similar fields such as the product name, brand, model number, SKU, and reviews. However, the game console has some unique properties such as storage type and number of HDMI ports. The pair of earbuds also has unique fields such as battery life, connection type, and fit. In SQL, you might store some of the shared fields in a products table and then have a separate table to store specifics about the different types of products. In order to get all the products, you need to join all of these tables. This can get unwieldy as you add many different types of products to your catalog. In Redis Stack, since the schema is flexible, you can store all products with their shared fields and their unique fields in a single collection. Further, to distinguish between the different types of products, you can have a type field that groups them together. In our case, we would have one type that is Game Console and another type that's Earbuds. Let's see what this looks like in code. Here, I'm importing Redis Ohm for Node, and I'm modeling products with several fields. The type, name, brand, SKU, and model fields will be common for all products. I also have battery life, connection type, fit, USB ports, HDMI ports, and storage type fields that may exist for some products, but not for others. This is how you use the polymorphic pattern to store several different types of products and their unique fields within the same collection. Using Redis Ohm and the polymorphic pattern, it's trivial to get a list of all the products. You simply perform an empty search and return all the results. You can also get products of a certain type by searching and filtering by the type field. Creating a new product is also trivial. However, you want to avoid blindly inserting data. You should always validate the data first and only insert the properties you intend to store. Reading a product is simplified when using the polymorphic pattern because you do not need any complex joins like you would in SQL. Same goes for deleting a product. You don't have to worry about deleting records in multiple tables. Instead, you only need to remove it from the product's collection. Now let's see what this looks like in Redis Insight. I've simplified the data I have in Redis for the sake of this video, so I only have two products stored in my Redis Stack instance. In reality, a product catalog would have tons of products. Here, you can see that the first product contains the common fields, type, name, brand, SKU, and model, it also has the unique fields USB ports, HDMI ports, and storage type. The other product has the common fields and its own set of unique fields, battery life, connection type, and fit. Using the polymorphic pattern, you can reduce the number of collections used to store your data and simplify your application logic and queries. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to hear more, please like this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to check the description down below for a link to sign up to Redis Enterprise Cloud for free.